morning. It's July 2nd, 2016. A few weeks ago I was visiting Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, and I learned that that is the unofficial midpoint of the Appalachian Trail. The ATC is located there, and I went in and visited the center. And in a moment, in an instant, just like that, I decided that I'm going to hike the Appalachian Trail. I um, I've done a lot of cool things and checked a lot of stuff off of my bucket list and decided that maybe it's time to add some more. Uh, I don't have six months to take off to, um, to do a through hike, so I'm going to do this in sections. Uh, it kind of feels like cheating, but at least I'll get to see the entire trail. I will get to see the entire trail. That's what I, I, I'm very determined. I figure if I average 200 miles a year, I should be done in um, in under 11 years. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I've, the support I've received from family and friends has been uh, unbelievable. People offering when I come near their homes to, to make dinner. Um, other people are offering to come hike with me. Um, other people have given me advice on hiking. It, it's just absolutely phenomenal. It's actually very touching. I am. Um, I'm going to dedicate this entire adventure from start to finish, from mile marker zero all the way up to the almost uh, 2,200 miles. I'm going to dedicate this to my uh, very best friend. Ten days from now will be the sixth anniversary of uh, the death of my brother, and he's the one I did a lot of my adventures with, and I miss him dearly every day. So, Jamie, this is for you start to finish. I'm also going to dedicate each section of hike that I do to somebody special in my life. And uh, this is an easy one. Nine days from now my grandmother will be celebrating her 95th birthday. She's always been an inspiration to me. I've looked up to her. She's, uh, she's a very strong person. I guess you have to be to get to be 95. Uh, so Graham, this section's for you. I'm very, very excited to do this. I, I am actually thrilled. Um, I'm also terrified, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, 51 years old, a bit overweight, out of shape. I've had multiple spine surgeries, so I'm taking the metal with me. I've had uh, a number of abdominal surgeries, and I've decided I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going for it. Um... pack that I have with me, um, my first pack, you know, this is almost like a trial run, but it is 8.8 .8 pounds heavier than I wanted it to be. It, um, it has a lot of water in it. My past life as a microbiologist, I think, is, uh, is a, in my head a little bit right now. I know it lurks in the water, and I know I'm going to have a hard time drinking out of the streams. I have tablets, and I have a filter with me, and, um, if push comes to shove and I have to use it, I'll probably use the tablets and the filter. It's a head thing. I know it is. Um, hopefully, um, in this this adventure um, over the next few days, I can uh, get over that because I'm going to need to. There's some sections of this hike that I'm going to do the last hundred miles in Maine where I'm going to have to drink the water out of the stream. So we'll see how that goes. So I appreciate the support of of everybody. Um, I've made up my mind. I am going to get healthy and um, trying to look for fun ways to do it and I love being adventurous so this is what we're going to do. Um, up until my um, brother passed away I was actually a, a very thin person and um, I've put on all this weight since losing him and it's time for him to get back in shape and, and not only for my brother but also uh, for my kids. So Scott, Beth and Kara doing it. I'm going to get this done. Let's go do this. So I guess that's that's it for now. Those are my thoughts. I'll be checking in periodically. So for now, as my bro would say, over and out.